I'm Kels K. Love. Welcome to Traveling Fools. This is part two of our series on how to stay in Europe longer than 90 days. In part one, we talked about how to calculate your stay in the Schengen area so that you don't overstay that limit of 90 days out of every 180 days. In part two, I'm giving you options for where to go outside of the Schengen area if you want to stay in Europe long term without any sort of specialized visa and how to do the Schengen shuffle. Not, not like that. And in the third and final part of the series, we'll talk about digital nomad visas in Europe, typical requirements you need to apply for those, and why we ultimately decided not to get one when we moved to Europe. One important note, the majority of options I'm about to discuss apply specifically to US passport holders. So game on! If you're a US passport holder, you can stay in Europe for up to one year, visa-free in two countries. Option number one, Albania. Option number two, Georgia. Whether you arrive by plane, boat, bus, or piggyback ride, if you have a U.S. passport, you're automatically granted a one-year stay in Albania on arrival. You can leave and return anytime you want within that year or stay in Albania the entire time. At that one-year mark, you just need to leave Albania for at least 90 consecutive days, and then you can come back and be granted yet another one-year stay visa-free. Much like democracy in the United States or the balance of my checking account, not really sure how long this is gonna last. So my advice is if you wanna stay in Europe for any significant amount of time, make Albania your home base while the offer is still on the table. Now a little bit about Albania. It's in an area of Europe known as the Balkans, named after the Balkan mountain range, and is bordered by Greece, North Macedonia, Kosovo, and Montenegro. You can also travel here by overnight ferry from Italy. Prego. Scenery-wise, you have gorgeous beaches along the coastline known as the Albanian Riviera, there's the capital city of Tirana, where we're currently based for the winter months. You have gorgeous mountains, rivers and lakes at your disposal, and a handful of very charming historic towns and villages. Option number two, Georgia. Similar to Albania, if you have a U.S. passport, you're automatically granted a one-year stay on arrival visa-free. You can leave and return to Georgia anytime you want within that year, or stay there the entire time. Unlike Albania, where you need to leave for 90 consecutive days after you hit that year mark, in Georgia, you just gotta leave! And then you could come right back, be granted yet another year stay, visa-free. As of 2024, there's no minimum amount of days you have to be out of Georgia before your one-year clock restarts, nor is there a specified amount of times you can repeat this process. So if you're interested in making Georgia your home base, take a little jump across the border to Turkey, maybe Armenia, Come back, rinse, repeat. Georgia borders Russia, Azerbaijan, Armenia, and Turkey, and along with most of the countries in the Balkans, it's a candidate for EU membership. We haven't been to Georgia yet, but I only hear great things. I will say that if your goal is to explore a lot of Europe, Albania is in a more convenient location for doing that, though both countries are excellent options if you value having a long-term home base. Next up, if you're a U.S. passport holder, you can stay in Europe for up to 180 days visa-free in two countries. Option number one, Armenia. Option number two, the U.K. Bordering Georgia, Azerbaijan, Iran, and Turkey, U.S. passport holders are granted a visa-free stay of up to 180 days per year in Armenia. We haven't made it here yet, but a few things to note. It's landlocked and is also one of the world's oldest wine producing regions. It has a low cost of living, but you can expect there to be a language barrier. Moving on. Your second option for visa-free stays for up to 180 days is the United Kingdom. Unlike most of the options I presented so far, the UK explicitly states that you are permitted to work remotely for foreign companies while you're here. U.S. passport holders are considered non-visa nationals in the U.K. and will be granted a 180-day stay on arrival visa-free. Now, you can leave and re-enter the U.K. within that 180 days, technically be granted yet another 180-day stay that starts from your second entry date. But it is important to note that as of 183 days in the U.K., it could trigger tax residency. No, thank you. Additionally, if you're a U.S. passport holder, you can stay in Europe for up to 90 days of every 180 days, visa-free, in Serbia, Kosovo, Montenegro, North Macedonia, and Bosnia and Herzegovina. Y'all know what that means. It's time to bust out the tracksuit, baby! You're in the Balkans! Now, the Schengen Shuffle is when you legally travel between countries both in and out of the Schengen area without ever overstaying your limit in any of them. 
Because all the Balkan countries border each other, you can technically stay just in this region for over three plus years without ever stepping foot in the same country twice. Say what? As of 2024, the Balkan countries of Slovenia, Croatia, Romania, Bulgaria, and Greece are all in the Schengen area while the rest are not. So let's get to that three year figure. As an example, you could stay in Albania for one year, then go to Greece for 90 days, then leave the Schengen area by going to North Macedonia for 90 days, re-enter the Schengen area in Bulgaria for 90 days, leave the Schengen area again in Serbia for 90 days, and so on and so on. Even without doubling up on any countries, and if your math was perfect, you could stay just within the Balkans for over 1200 days or around three and a half years. And that's just one section of Europe. I will also say that everywhere we've traveled in the Balkans, we've left. Though, I will say inhaling secondhand smoke will be your new pastime. <coughs> if y'all ever legalize marijuana, I'll get you back. Finally, if you're a US passport holder, you can stay in Europe for up to 90 days of every 180 days, visa free, in the following countries in the rest of Europe, including Cyprus, Turkey, Moldova, and the Republic of Ireland. Two notes. One. Cyprus has been pushing to join Schengen for a whole minute now, so it may not be much longer until it becomes part of the Schengen area. Two, we haven't made it there yet, but we hear excellent things about Turkey, and we'll probably find our way there in the summer months if and when Albania becomes too insanely crowded, and we're looking for an affordable place on the beach where we can eat Donner kebabs both before and after merrily floating in the sea. As a reminder, this is part two of three for how to stay in Europe longer than 90 days. In the last and final part, I'm gonna bring in my Finnish homie, Dr. Digital Nomad herself, Miss Kai Su, and we're gonna discuss digital nomad visas in Europe, should you have a job you can do remotely, and also have access to a printer and infinite patience. Thanks for watching! Keep it weird, subscribe, drink a beer, high five a stranger, pinch a butt, do what you do. Bye!